All right, so John, you just gave a, a really great speech about gardening, man. Thanks. Um, and one of the things I first heard about was uh, the cross-pollination between the GMO foods. I mean, first of all, are you even for that? And second of all, you know, um, how can we, uh, you know, if we're worried about them, we want to go organic as possible, how can we um, look out for things to pick out good seeds for our garden? So can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, sure. So uh, number one, I will go on the record that I'm fully against GMO crops, all GMO crops. Now, I want to define GMO crops for a second because, you know, many people may not exactly know what it is. And how could John say GMOs are bad because it's just hybridization has been happening for years and all this stuff. GMO is not the same as hybridization. And I want you guys to think of it like this. If I had to have, if I tried to have sex with a fish, right, <laughs> different species, right, they're breeding, literally, they are doing this, tomatoes with fish. They're breeding different, you know, bacteria and animals with plants to make, you know, like interbreeding with different species. I mean, it doesn't work. I can't get my thing into a fish. I don't know, maybe I could, but that's beside the point. But we wouldn't make babies even if I was able to do it because I know some freaky people out there might do that crap. Man, I, I don't do that stuff. But nonetheless, that's that's what GMOs are. It's, it's breeding two totally different species. Like if I had made love to a you know, an African woman or a Spanish woman or a Asian woman. Yeah, we're, we're different and we'd be crossbreeding. We'd be hybridizing because it's not a person of my genetic ethnicity, but that's all right. You know, and that's what standard gardening or, you know, making hybrids or heirlooms. That's what those are. So those, in my opinion, are all right. But GMO crossing two different species, not all right. So how can you avoid this? Well, I recommend, number one, growing your own food because when it comes out of your garden, you're going to know what it is. If you're buying processed foods, many processed foods have some kind of GMO component, whether it's corn syrup, corn flour, soy this, soy that. You know, eat fruits and vegetables. You're going to be immune to a lot of it, but not all of the GMO. So to obtain good seeds to grow in your garden that are not GMO, what can we look for? What can we do? Well, I would encourage you guys to, number one, buy organic seeds. Organic foods and organic foods, organic foods and organic seeds by definition should not contain any GMOs by definition. And I mean, that's the law. So unless they're lying, unless they're doing something weird, you should be good by buying organic foods and organic seeds. Another thing you should do is also look for companies that have a safe seed pledge. The safe seed pledge is a pledge that companies have made that, you know, sell seeds to say we will not sell GMO seeds. And many of those companies also send their seeds away for testing to ensure there's no GMO, GMO contamination. Because in my opinion, you know, that's another big issue, the GMO contamination. How can there be GMO contamination? Well, it's very simple. Say in the Midwest, you know, you got all them acres of corn, all those corn fields growing corn. There's like, you know, you're, the neighbor here is growing GMO corn. The neighbor right next door, they're certified organic, and they're growing corn too. And they started with organic certified corn seeds, so that should not be GMO. Then when the corns are, you know, uh, making the pollen and the pollen kind of drifts and gets blown by the wind and it, it infects the organic corn the gmo corn then some of the genes from the corn it's like me sticking my thing into somebody making a baby maybe if i didn't want to <laughs> and then we got to get an abortion which that's a whole nother <laughs> topic i'm not talking about <laughs> but the corn could cross pollinate uh, with the organic corn and now that corn that's grown on that's supposed to be organic that started with clean seeds is now contaminated and now contains some genetic you know gmo modification uh, DNA or whatever and that's I think I think something that really concerns me so you know I encourage you guys when you do eat organic corn and organic soys be particularly careful about where you get it from because of this contamination the contamination is not really accounted for and even if it's labeled organic it may have some contamination so I mean I want to be aware of that but also be conscious about it so for me in general if it's like some big company selling corn at Whole Foods and it says organic I don't know where that corn came from. I'm probably not going to buy it. If I go to a local farmer's market and I ask the farmer, hey, are anybody growing GMO corn near you? You know, is your acreage far from anybody? All this kind of stuff. And he says, you know, yes. Then I'll probably buy his corn, but I'm not going to buy just organic corn at the supermarket because I'm concerned. More importantly, if I'm going to be growing corn, I'm only going to buy organic corn or corn that has been tested GMO contamination free. It's very important, especially with the corn and the soy. Those are the two main crops. I mean, even, even also... They're, you know, GMOing zucchinis and different things nowadays. Papaya is another big one. I mean, there's so many different crops that are GMOing these days. Beets, another huge one. You know, and all these have the possibility of cross-pollination and cross-contamination. So we really got to pay some attention on many crops. Although many other crops are not yet being GMO, so there's no danger. But 
you know, I encourage you guys to look up the crops that are being GMO'd at this time and, you know, be concerned about whether you're eating those crops or actually even going to be growing them and make sure you get good seed uh, starts. And once you have seed once, then what I encourage you guys to do is to grow the plants out that you know are clean, grow them, make sure there's no contamination around your area and no people growing GMO stuff, and then save your seeds and keep growing them and, buy, and give those seeds that are GMO free to your friends, neighbors, and family and all this kind of stuff so that they could grow GMO free too so we could keep some genetic diversity alive.